specimens to be fixed in ethanol, for, which is good for uh, DNA studies. Some researchers request to put them in formalin, which is good for morphological studies, and some other get them dry. What oh, about the rocks? The rocks. Uh, I mean, they're, they're curated here. Uh, oftentimes they cut them open, and uh, some people may take small slabs for immediate research. But uh, they're all taken to the uh, marine geophysical or marine geology samples labs at, in Rhode Island, sure. and they're stored and curated. And uh, if anybody has the desire to get some samples, they can request samples uh, for research. Do you always date them? No, not always. Uh, I have a really smart aleck answer here, but I'm not going <laughs> to. The, the ones that, uh, you know, if it's an area of interest where we want to get the date, uh, you can do it just a little more involved. Mm -hmm. and you have to have a certain sort of uh, quality of sample. But half the, most of the time it's just, you know, get an idea what the, the rock type is. And uh, sometimes they uh, take pieces and look at the geochemistry as well. So they can do that with uh, mass specs, or they can do some sort of uh, laser ablation, and maybe even uh, just simple uh, uh, petrographic slides do a lot of mineral identification to characterize the rock. While we're on the topic of rocks, chat wants to know what's your favorite kind of rock? Boitrudel. Boitrudel. <laughs> Is that a kind of rock, or that's just a rock description? Mm. Yeah, there's a question from the uh, online folks, Amber. Yeah, these are, uh, asking if these are lava that are forming small hills. Yeah, they are. It looks like some sort of uh, localized uh, eruption sites creating some of these uh, lava tube mounds. This is kind of what we expected from the uh, the mapping that we saw. It had this sort of a character of a, a lumpiness as we had a went along the top of this ridge. This may be a stupid question. How do we know it's a tube? Mm, not stupid. I think the same thing. A what? How do we know it's a tube, like a lava tube? Well, it's, it's, it may not be a hollow. It's more of the morphology, the shape. So if it's kind of elongate, we call them tubes. If they're broad and flat, we call them lobes. And if they're round oh. and circular, we call them pillows. So I don't think you've called anything a lobe recently. Well, a lot of these, no, I haven't called it, but it's, you know, a lot of these things it's between a sheet flow and a lobe. Um, when we were coming up the steep slope last night, you can see there's some flatter, wider pieces. Mm -hmm. I remember. That uh, had a, a lobey look to it. A lobey look. look. <laughs> uh, Annabelle, cool. get out of my head. <laughs> get out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you see all the, uh, the fractures in the rocks up here, these long linear fractures. So it's maybe uh, indicative of uh, some of these mass wasting events or potential planes of weakness that these things could erode and fall off to the uh, to the north or south rather. Ooh, we gonna go off a little nose? Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> Is nose your favorite type of rock? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I know rocks enough to have a favorite type. Definitely not a squishy rock. That's not my favorite oh, type of rock. Oh, I like the squishy rocks. Because you'd think they'd be squishy, but you'd but be wrong. But they're not. I tried to squish one. It didn't work. When I first heard squishy rocks, I thought you were referring to, like, sea cucumbers or something. Oh, no. I'm definitely team squishy rock. Not for seamounts, but sulfide rocks at vents. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes back it all to the, comes the full vents. circle. <laughs> we so haven't heard a hydrothermal vent factoid in a while. Okay. Are we ready for one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Always ready for a hydrothermal vent fact. So last night, the last fact that I left you with was that hydrothermal vents have life cycles. And you asked, 
how often they change. And I said it could be a matter of 20 years for them to be extinct to super active. But what really causes them to change is when their plumbing changes. So 65% of hydrothermal vents are located on mid-ocean ridges. Yeah. And when those vents of mid-ocean ridges are where new seafloor is being created. So when those vents are slowly moving away from the mid-ocean ridge, they slowly move away from the heat source. That can cause their plumbing to stop or they can fall over or get a blockage in their plumbing and their conduits and that can cause it to stop. So there are a whole bunch of different factors that contribute to why they lose their heat source and become eroded mounds eventually. Hmm. Well, this is an impressive little fracture here. Yeah. And we're pretty much oriented, uh, looking toward the northwest, which is uh, parallel to this nose or this promontory ridge we're on so I can just see in a we come back here in a couple million years that could all be eroded away I'll put a note on my calendar yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll send you an invite thanks let's make a Facebook event <laughs> yeah, and here it continues here and when we came up the steep area you could often see there were these talus ramps and at the very top of it, where the, you came back into a sheet flow, you'd actually see these edges where uh, the sheet flow stopped. But it not, it's not like it stopped, but everything kind of eroded away down the mountainside or the... Can you describe a, what did you say, a talus ramp? That's good there. Yeah, a talus ramp is just uh, a collection of, of rocks and boulders that have kind of <laughs> fallen down a slope. Okay. Is that is that enough? Yeah, no, that's okay. enough. I mean, if, on land, if you go to any sort of you know, cliffy area or something like that. You can see all these large blocks of rocks that have kind of fallen at the bottom mm -hmm. before you hit the sheer cliff. Maranke, do you have a list of facts that you're like pulling from in your head or written down? In, yeah, in my head. <laughs> it just sounded so perfectly articulated. Thank you. They're in a, a frontmost file in your brain. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Hopefully they come out when I need them during my candidacy exam. <laughs> Do you want to zoom there? Yeah, yeah zoom working on it. Yeah, Maraki, I've seen uh, even on some cliffs, I've seen some uh, Vesta Okay, Dave, let's have a zoom, please. That seemed like they were there shortly for a short term, real small ones. They weren't, you know, associated with a ridge axis at all, but somewhat off axis. Oh, okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, I wasn't able Long. to sample it, but. This is a pretty Have coral. Uh, Are we? Uh, sorry, that's there it. There we go. Okay, Thank thanks. You. We're going a little bit down slope now, so it's a bit. Harder to get zooms. Uh oh, down slope. It's okay, it'll come back up. Is that a squat lobster by the porch? We're gone. We're gone. I think so, yeah. And very quickly, you come off the top of this ridge, you get a little more sediment. In this little valley. Saddle. Yeah, look at this. With ripples in it. Yeah. Current. Mm hmm I suppose this would not give you a good indicator of, uh, maybe we can go another one not give you a good indicator of general current direction because it's probably focused by this feature, right? Yeah, it's topography focused. I, I'm surprised we haven't seen any of the, uh, the nuggets or nodules in this along here. Are we like dri driving in the UK tracks. here on the left side or what? It's funny. Looks like a road. Yeah, I always wondered with the the English Channel Tunnel, do they actually have like halfway in the middle? Do they switch sides of the roads they drive on? Full contact intersection. 
Can you drive through that tunnel, or is it just train? I don't know. Well, look at me. I don't know. Does Google know? Oh, yeah. What tunnel is it? Channel. The channel. 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 The channel tunnel. Oh. <laughs> kind of like Os Aqua Squatch. It's keeps, it keeps saying it's a railway tunnel. Okay, so it's not a driving thing. But there is a video of someone driving through it. What? That's bold. It is not, it is not possible to drive a car or motorcycle through the channel tunnel. Except for this person did it. Instead, motorists must drive into the Euro tunnel. Le shuttle train? I think it was like like orchestrated that someone drove through it. I don't think it was like random video of oh. someone driving through it. On a dare, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I think it was like orchestrated. It's inspection vehicle of some kind like Mm-hmm. I think the Euro tunnel is what you can drive through. Does it oh, also nice. cross the channel? Yes. That's a nice job. Or do you drive onto a train and then go through? Hmm. A question from my mom. <laughs> Have you ever came across any man-made objects, wreckage, garbage, etc.? Yeah, we saw cans. A the tin other day. can. Yep. And plastic. Was it plastic or was it tin? It was a can. It was a can? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've seen uh, 55 gallon barrels mm -hmm. up near Johnston, some pails. Who was it that saw a bathroom? That was me. <laughs> that wasn't on this cruise, though. Yeah. All sorts of weird stuff. Was the bathroom ONC? No. No, that was another system, another ship, another different everything. It was coastal BC somewhere. I can't remember where. I, I think it was called an aqua squat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, question for the, I guess the ROV team. What conditions are acceptable to launch and recover vehicles? What are you What are you looking for when you're launching? Uh, good weather. 25 knots of wind, two knots of current, two and two to two and a half meters swell. Is the short summary, but we could talk about that for hours, and mm -hmm. I don't have the energy. <laughs> Gotta get your coffee in. Gotta we leave, leave room for science talk. Oh, that's true. That science is opportunity to talk. If they have anything to say about anything. Mm. Mm. There's no science here. We got a lone sponge. Looks like it's got some coral friends. That's a tall coral coming up. Another bamboo. It's got branch. But does it got nodes? There's no way to node. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never node. Okay, can you please zoom in?
There's nodes. I see node, yep. I see internodal branching. I think. Is that? It's hard to tell, actually. Let me get a little closer. Is that little black dot the node? Yeah, I think that little band. Just below the, the left yeah. and right one. There. Can you point to it? Can you cycle it to the node? Is that a question for the back row? You want to point to the node? Yes. Um, circle it. Yes. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, as I'm unstable. <laughs> All right, uh, thank you. Come is wide. It, is that yellow one a plexigorgia, or is that a zoanthid covered? I didn't see it in time, unfortunately. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. okay. Well, there, there are a lot. Yeah, we can check the next one out. Are we out of a zone of uh, primnoids here now? Have you seen many? No, haven't seen. That seemed to be the dominant one earlier. A little deeper. Since we're at, like nearing the end of the the top of the seam at the end of the dive, are we just kind of like browsing to see the diversity around? Yeah. Maybe Nothing this, too pressing that we we're doing. Primnoids and. Oh, okay. So there looks like there may be some primnoids there. Okay. When's the last time they did an eDNA sample? Well, they have plenty that uh, Steve said we don't need to, to do any more. Okay, roger that. Someone in the chat said, weather is science. Good point. Good point. I am not a weather scientist. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> My weather is not science. <laughs> What was that? In the cinema cam, there's like a little red thing. A red floaty. Oh. Yeah, what is? It's yeah. in Zeus now. Off to the left. What are is you? It looks like a parachute. That's what? cute. Oh. What is it? Think you can get do that, Dave? Know? What do you think? I think I can not blast it away. Is it a jelly? So we don't see it bits behind us. Hmm. Is this one of those little volcanic mounds that you're talking about? Me? No, Rob. Yeah, there's a little little volcano volcanic mound here. Yeah, this entire ridge we've been going up is probably some sort of a, a rift that occurred in the side of the uh, seamount. A lot of it been flowing out at different points along the uh, the length of it. And so they, where it flows out locally is where you get these little mounds as you go along. Look, this there we go. There's a primnoid. Yeah. You got time for some oh. frame upage? Remind me of a menorah or a candelabra. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This could be Calypsophora. Say what they were called again, a primnoid or? Primnoid. Primnoid. P-R-I-M-N-O-I-D. Primnoid. Primnoid. I've also heard it pronounced primnoid. primnoid. Yeah, I've seen it different. Same spelling, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, the pattern of branching. So 
for Narella. You have Dicotomus branching uh, several times. And for Calyptrophora, you have a, like, a main axis and then... But uh, I believe so. That's a nice little pirouette. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot easier being zoomed out, I'll tell you what. Hides <laughs> oh, many sins. So I was muted, but I was asking Paola how we know with primnoids whether it's a calyptophora oh. or a norella, which are the two main types we've been seeing. And a calyptophora has a main branch that all the other branches come off of, whereas Norella has more dispersed branching. Hey, which one was that? That was a Calyptophora, because you saw that main branch, kind of like a candelabra, as you were saying. It felt like two main branches, though, you know, well, the left one and the right one. Does that still count? Yeah, that counts. Cool, okay. Calypto Calyptophora? Yes. Calyptophora. Calyptrophora. Calyptrophora. Yeah, Nice corals coming up here on this little mound. We have a question for you, Trevor. Can you feel the current? Is it? Can you feel if the current is steady or buffering, or buffeting? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You can feel it. You can see it even at home if you're watching all for the little sea. Sorry, the marine snow. See how it's going from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen, but the vehicle's staying still. Yeah, I There's never thought about looking at the snow. Yeah, snow's a great indicator. So chat can follow along and figure out what the current is. If you take the vehicle heading and take the marine snow direction, you can calculate your current direction. And for those of you who don't know the, what the marine snow is, it's those little particle dots floating all around. Little specks of bio sinking down. I've seen the little blue bite, uh, blue light, and Atalanta view on the Herc junction box. Oh yeah. It's our power on indicator for when it's on deck, but I guess also when it's subsea. There's one on the other side too, isn't there? There is, yeah. You can see the power is on to Hercules. <laughs> I sure hope so. <laughs> I guess even if I turned off all the lights, that light is always on. Would you be able to like not see anything if you turned off all the lights? Yeah, it's very dark down here. Yeah. Would Atalanta's light allow you to see a little bit? Ready, Dave? Here we go. Sure. I have to log this, you know. I believe it. <laughs> oh, dark. Is, Laser. Is no. Wow. Turn on all your lights, Annabelle. Oh. No, turn them on. <laughs> see what we get. Oh, turn them on. I thought you said turn them all off. Yeah, turn them <laughs> on. I get view in my tooling cameras, which are a little less we light hogs. We can see some dots of bioluminescence. Oh, okay. No, I think it's just those laser hitting bits. Oh, you're right. running away in the dark. <laughs> yeah. Because Trevor's a pro. Get out of here. <laughs> no, I've fallen off station a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see. Wow, spooky. Yeah, it's very dark down here. If there was like some sort of bioluminescence, would we have been able to see it just there, or with this uh, light on? With I the when the lights were off, off, would we have been able to? I guess so. I would doubt it. This camera's very sensitive to. Wait, it's not very. What I'm trying to say is, it needs a lot of light. 
So oh, okay. if bioluminescence is not super bright, it's hard to see it. We have uh, put a, a scientist came out several years ago with a super high ISO, super light sensitive camera. So we turn all the lights off on Hercules and try to look for bioluminescence. It's very, very, very sensitive to small amounts of light. Oh, that's cool. It's really neat, yeah. Maybe did we'll look find some anything? highlight footage. I don't remember. I don't think I did on my watch, but other watches did, I believe. When was this? Mm, yes or now. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, 2017 maybe? The 20 teens. Yeah. Later in the season, we'll have the Mizubat uh, vehicle on board, and it's got a super sensitive light sensor that can detect light down to the single photon range. Ooh. Does that one dive? It does. It's an autonomous vehicle, mm -hmm. uh, and it, they send it down uh, as the sun's going down, and it goes down, and then it follows the migration of uh, uh, animals that come up uh, when, when it's dark. Okay, cool. And a question in the chat, what are the green lasers used for? So those green lasers, we use them for measurement. They are 10 centimeters apart. Yeah, this is the type of area I expect to see those nuggets and nodules, but... What would a nodule look like? A bigger nugget. Okay. <laughs> okay. But most of the things we see up here aren't what I would necessarily call a nodule. They're more of the smaller nuggets. The nodules are usually uh, a little larger and on the... Uh, Abyssal seafloor. Could you zoom out on high pack for a sec, please? Just want to see where we're at. Just zoom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. We said the peak was about 1,700, correct? So we're about 45 meters away. Yep. If you look on your map on uh, satellite three, the oh. line mm -hmm. encircling waypoint five is 1,700 meters. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, based on our current speed, what time do you think we'll get there, Elias? Waypoint five. Uh, he's muted. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Um, I was saying maybe an hour. <laughs> What's that? An hour? Yeah. Okay. Well. That means we will not quite make it if we want to be up by noon. So do you want to speed up? Do you want to continue the dive longer? Or what do you want to do, back row? Uh, let me uh, send Dwight a quick text. OK. Shrimp. I'm listening. I'll come up to the van. OK. Roger. The word from below. <laughs> The great man downstairs. <laughs> so, Paula, did you want to try to grab some of the uh, black coral again, or? Yeah, um, one of our scientists is interested interested in uh, black coral. Uh, the genus is Aphanastichopathes, and it should be similar to Stichopathes. Okay. 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 
Yeah, so good point to what? Yeah, point three knots? Point three, okay. We're going to speed up to point three knots. That's speed right there. Yeah, Trevor, we're looking for the black coral's a little different. It's not like the feather that you've seen. Okay. It's more of a, a single stalk sort of feature, like a, a wire brush. So if we okay. see it, we see it. But it's not going to be like the typical black coral we've been seeing. All right. If you really want to cover ground, we could go faster than yeah, three, let's two. do this. I mean, whatever gets us to the uh, the peak at the the appropriate time. Well, how far is the ship from the peak right now? Um, it's about four seven eight meters. So like that's five, like yeah, like five hundred meters. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, a little over a quarter of a nautical mile. I think we got to go point four. Let's do it. Okay. I think we have here. What? Zoom on that? Yeah, no problem. Some association. Here okay, you can here. zoom on the thing, please. The Ooh. squat party. Two of them. Squat party. Nice. Squat party. It's very interesting that this species, if you can see, they are not in the coral. They are in the hydroid. Oh, or interesting. Oh, always, yeah. Always, always in the um, in the dead part of the coral. And mm -hmm. here, Bye, Fred. here, mm -hmm. yeah, oh. you have two specimens. Leaps to another one. Yeah. Is that coral behind? Uh, I guess I'm looking in the cinema cam, but is that coral behind what we're looking at? Blue. It looks like it, doesn't it? You can stay oh, in a second. Oh, the Victor Victoria. The Victor Gorgia. Yeah, yeah. It looks like yeah, it. it. Looks like it. Yeah. Good call. Nice. Are we happy okay, about thank Victor Gorgia? Are we? We like it. We like Victor it. Victor Gorgia, yeah. Nice. Nice. Thank you. What were those squats? What type of squat lobsters? The the commonest species around is Minidopsis gochani. Minidopsis. I think that's our first sighting of Victor Gorgia, isn't it? In a while, yeah, for this site. And those are like usually like purpley, purpley bluey, mm -hmm. violet color. Do they have an ombre to them or are they variegated? Oh, is that a cucumber? In the yeah, good call. It sure is. Got a woody. Cucumber. Um, I don't think they're either ombre or variegated. <laughs> I think they're just pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom on the cucumbus, please. I'm just trying to bring it full circle. I know, we got some... Um, Black coral off to the right, too. All right, thank you. And this black coral off to the right is not the one we're looking for. Uh, Ask Paula. Asking for a friend. Um, yeah. <laughs> 
What was the question? Uh, this black coral dead center here is not the one we're looking for. Uh, no, but we, we could check for okay. associations. Zoom in, please. Yeah, look for polykeep possibilities too. Neither one of these. Oops, these two. Okay, thank you. Thanks. We can just track the line. rubble here in the uh, basalts. It's only nine. <laughs> oh, you know what that means. What? <laughs> Page check? <laughs> I thought it was uh, ten. It's not ten. It's nine. I'm like, whoa, we got we a rush. That's okay. We can get there and we can go to waypoint six. Whatever you want, yeah. Sure. So any crinoid experts in the back row? Are you a crinoid expert? No. You want to see the stalk crinoid? I was wondering, I know that uh, unstocked crinoids can move throughout their life. but Sometimes they can. Uh, there are some species that uh, even swim in the yeah. water column. They are, uh, they are common on uh, continental shelves. But what about the stocked ones? Do they live here their whole life? I haven't seen them uh, swimming. Is the stock like an alive part of the animal, or is it like a skeleton? I would consider a skeleton a life part. <laughs> Good point. Good point. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's organic, right? So. Well, what if is it alive like a skeleton, or is it alive like hair? Yeah, good point. <laughs> what is life and what is death? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Getting into the real philosophical questions here. Well, are crinoids, are crinoids like multi-organismed organisms like coral is? Is it communal or is it a single? It's a single specimen. They're like, they're in the, the same, they're related to stars, sea stars? Yeah, they are part of the echinoderms. Echinoderms. Um, that includes sea stars, ophiroids, uh, or brilliant stars, sea cucumbers, uh, sea Oh, archons. sea cucumbers are yeah. part of sea stars? Yeah. Oh. Get a chance to zoom in on this. That's a nice little Yeah, we can make congregation. that happen. No problem. Uh, go for it, Dave. Nice. Look at that black skeleton there. Yeah, incredible yeah. diversity. Oh, so you have some black corals there. Oh, oh that's one of the three swimming crinoids, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With the legs. Poke it with a stick. The way they swim is really magnificent, too. I would love to see one swimming. Oh, that's nice. All right, thank you. Sure. Thank Are you. those yellow corals we're seeing black corals, but the staropathies type? Yeah. And can you describe again Star what we're looking for for the final sample? Looking for a black coral that looks like what? The one we're looking for, the black coral that's the looking... One, the one we're looking for uh, is um, Schizopathy, the family. I think it's not branched. It's a single okay. branch coral. Have we been seeing that on this but we are already? We are checking also for... Um, Polychaetes. Worms, 
worms living on other black corals such as um, Bathypathies or Stauropathies. Yeah, okay, roger that. Thank you. Did we ever get a uh, understanding of what the worms look like? Or that was kind of not clear last watch? Well, I read something like they're sigmoidal or something. The scale worm, very small. Uh, we need to oh, check yeah. uh, with the zoom. Uh, Look at these two purple crinoids hanging out in the breeze. They make for a very interesting silhouette. Yeah, beautiful cinema cam view. Yeah. That's a nice view. All right. <laughs> they seem to be good indicators of the current as well. I'd say, yeah. Yeah, I am surprised there isn't more sediment up here. I went to check the temperature and accidentally read the heading, and I was like, 102 <laughs> degrees? <laughs> Things are boiling in there. Frying some eggs. Another good current indicator is if you get the fan-shaped corals, they usually grow perpendicular to the flow, or sponges, to maximize eating potential. Mm, eating potential. But then I say that, though, this sponge dead center in the lasers looks like it's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? That's weird. The current's definitely flowing from right to left, but the sponge mouth is on the other side. The exhaust is pointed to where the current is. What's going on there? Gauge check finished? Maybe right. it's back flush I time. I might be. Can they, like, rotate which way they're facing? Science, I do you know? I don't know. I, I don't think so. Yeah, they look pretty passive. What must it be oh. like to be a sponge? Fish. Mm -hmm. Living in a pineapple under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see the fish? Yeah. yeah. Let's zoom in on it, please. It's pretty far away, but I'll do what I can. Fish. Holosaur? Yeah, it looks like a holosaur. Good call. I think Calosaur fits their look perfectly, the name. Because yeah. they look pretty saurus, you know? Yeah. They also got the weird duck bill. Okay, thank yeah. you. Yeah. A little rounded snoot. Snoot? Yeah, snoot. <laughs> snoot. <laughs> They're snooty. As opposed to, like, you know, a long pointed snoot. When I hear snoot, I think about that sorcerer eel that we saw. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of, too. Sorcerer <laughs> Get out of my eel? Head. Yeah, on the first uh, dive watch we went on. Cool, I wish I was there. You were there. <laughs> <laughs> in body, but in spirit. Emperor eel, he said? Sorcerer. Sorcerer eel? Like a wizard. Wow, I don't even remember that. Definitely more sediment up here. Look at the big corals off to the right here. Yeah. Maybe I'll sniff over there a bit. We saw a sorcerer eel last night as well. They're very thin and they can swim backwards. Did oh, they? Cool. Good for them. The Michael Jackson <laughs> of eels. The moon swim. We have a nice potential colony here to swim. Yeah. If that is okay. possible. It is. Is that a gear? Shrimp. Shrimp. <laughs> Is that something you want to try shrimp? to sample? Oh, shrimp. Um, we are interested in potentially sample some star Okay, zoom in, please. Okay. But it's not a 
black coral. The black okay. coral is batipatis. All right, we're not sampling this? No. Okay. Thank Good. you. Thank you. Speaking of sampling, Moving does the on. ROV have any kind of arm or sampling ability? We have plenty of sampling abilities. Lots of sampling abilities. Um, I think we're like, we, we have that one coral sample to do, but we're pretty much done sampling other than that for today, right? Yeah. Yeah. I gotta remember, we're moving fast now. We gotta stay up front. Going back to our stock, is it dead or is it alive question, um, we have a additional questions in the chat. Does the stock grow? If damaged, can it repair? And that's it. So does it grow and can it get repaired if it's damaged? Uh, for a sponge? Um, yeah, I sponge, the cry crinoid, body. or coral. I guess coral has for piles around. Sponge, uh, I don't know. For the crinoids, Zoom maybe. In, please. Baby fish? fish? Baby. Is it one of the... The kundas? The kumbas? Kubas? 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 Kubas. Is that a type of grenadier? What? The um, kumba species? Is that a type of grenadier, I think? I don't know. Sounds like something from uh, off-brand game about Italian plumbers. <laughs> <laughs> non uh, generic game about Italian plumbers. <laughs> Someone in the chat said, no, that sponge was facing the right way. The bottom opening is facing into the current, which mm. is what ki kind of what I was thinking. I think um, that's not correct. I've been wrong before. I'm wrong a lot but I thought that the small part was the exhaust and the big part was the inlet. Does it work that way with a stocked sponge though? Because that one had a stock. I mean, I'm just an ROV pilot. I don't know <laughs> what I'm talking about. <laughs> a lot of in interesting questions. <laughs> I, yeah. It was explained to me on a previous cruise that the more surface area of the part with more surface Fish. area, it gives you bigger eating potential to catch more stuff because the filtering yeah, happens that makes on sense. the surface. Yeah. So like the whole sponge <coughs> is its mouth. Yeah. <laughs> sponge is mouth. Sponge is mouth. Question in the chat. Curious why you're using two ROVs. ROVs, you want to explain? Go for it. Oh, for me? Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, Atalanta is uh, weighted um, and is hanging from the ship. So if you see the Atalanta camera view like bouncing around a little bit, it's because it's kind of moving with the ship. But because we have Atalanta can we doing check that, these? yes, we can. Uh, it allows her to have a lot more independence, um, and then the tether between Atalanta and go Herc ahead and zoom, please. Let's uh, Hercules sort of roam around a little bit more than it would probably be allowed to if we didn't have Atalanta. Hey, squatty. So, Ooh. do you think we could get the um, colony and the animal? Uh, I could get the animal or the colony. Probably not both. Um, and on a part, maybe we can. S I can slurp the animal. Uh, slurp the animal and a little Come wide, piece. please. I'll see what I can do. We are moving the ship okay. a little bit faster, but I'll do as much as I can. Preemptively pulling up on Delta. Sure. This is a, a squad lobster uh, on the genus Eruptychus okay. that is a specific D specifically living on black corals. And this is one of the black corals that uh, one of the scientists is interested in. Can I get so bucket cam, please? Roger. And down. A win-win. Bucket win -win. 
I feel like if we just tried to snip what the jar are we available to have? Downlights? We have jar one available. Jar one, okay, thank you. I feel like if we just tried to snip the coral and put it in a bio box, the, the squat lobster would swim away. Can you line away. up the jar with jar one, please? Most likely. Uh, Probably reverse. Oh, yeah, reverse, that would do. And now this is uh, sample 67. And let's do uh, thank you. 50%. 50% And suck. video zoom, please. Here we go. Suck is at 50%. Oh, it's forwards. Oh, Claws mm -hmm. up. It's That's ready. Nice. He's not going to like being sucked this way. Come oh. on. Oh. Oh. No. It's a battle. Oh no, it's spread its oh, okay. it. I'll try to get some of this thing too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, lobster in. Lobster, lobster in. Lobster in. And uh, okay. Just break free, would you please? A little bit. Is that going to get stuck in the hose? Uh, probably at this point. We're almost done the dive. It's Yay. our last slurp sample. All right, come wide, please. I got to go. Okay. We yeah. got the squat, that's we good. We got the squat. Thank you so much. No make, black coral? Make it um, little bits. You can stop the suction and rotate to flush. It may have gotten some small polyps or a couple, looks like a branch. Oh, look at that lobster go. Okay. He's in there. Yeah, definitely easier to suction them up in reverse. Uh, I'm going to keep moving here, so you're going to watch your delta. Roger, pulling up on Delta. And once I get a little more ahead, I'm going to slow the arm. Maybe I could, maybe I could just autopilot this thing. Yeah. Why is it not retracting? Hello, please retract. What? on here hmm. uh, do you want bubble on craft uh, yeah that would be swell please Ooh. our elastic is still stretchy yeah it sure is but it's not bungeeing maybe I overextended it all right we're at least not gonna run into a cliff which is pretty neat my preferred situation. Okay, pull more. More pull. Yeah. Hmm. All right, what if I just abandon hope on this thing? <laughs> oh. Just I tie think, it off. I think the elastic is like in the thing. Yeah, it is. Totally. I gotta grab this gently. Careful. Oh, careful. Squishable. Neat feature. All right, well, that is that for the dive. <laughs> I'm going to leave that there, and I'll just grab it before we come up. Can it, like, rest on the porch? Uh, it can, but it will also fly around. So oh. now i got to move again. We Bedlam. Oh. Total bedlam. At least it's the end of the dive. <laughs> it's so sad, just stuck out like that. <laughs> oh. Poor little thing. See if once you get ahead, I could get the Atalanta view. <laughs> okay. All right, vehicle's back in a nice position. All right, lowering Delta again. Sure. Going back to our discussion about stalks regrowing and if stalked crinoids can move, someone in the chat said it depends. Some stalked crinoids can actually move around and regrow after some damage. Cool. And some sponges can. Um, but again, this is from chat. So. Oh, yep, there it is. Yay. 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 Ooh. Oh, yay. Do no. it all the way home, please. No, no more sad slurp. Mm. Keep it going, buddy. Uh, question go. chat is ROV Argus retired? Um, I don't think no. it's retired. It's currently um, 
on land, just chilling in Honolulu. But uh, taking a sabbatical. Yeah, we it, Ad Atalanta's up more updated, correct? Yes, but also they serve different functionalities. Oh. Uh, I will answer more in a sec here. Just get all this junk off my lap. Um. Yeah, Atalanta's lighter and smaller which means it's great for large seas or deeper dives, uh, especially if we're looking at going to 6,000 meters later in the year. It'll be a lot nicer for cable tensions being lighter than Argus. Uh, it also has an updated side scan uh, sonar system, a little more modern, and a sound velocity sensor, which Argus does not have. However, Argus has capability of taking a Zeus Plus. That's the same camera that fits on Hercules, so a little more beautiful views from the eye in the sky. And it also has a sub-bottom profiler, which is an instrument that Atlanta does not have. So there's a little bit of different use cases for each. But they're interchangeable for probably 80 to 90% of the dives we do. So yeah, not retired, just not in use right now. How old is Atalanta? How, when did we oh, start using uh, it? I feel like I should know that. <laughs> 2018? Okay. Uh, 2019? I can't remember. Would, yeah, you know what? It's 2019. It was when it was commissioned. We got more facts about that sponge that was like facing the way we didn't think it should face. Yeah. Um, you can think of it like their head, you can think of their heads like an umbrella and the best catch of the current, you would face the rounded end of the umbrella away from the current. So it works like a scoop or a parachute. Yeah, I mean. Makes sense. Makes, makes sense. sense to me. I don't know why I was thinking the other way. Yeah, still pretty much in these sheet flow tubes. Still not really much of it. So do they ever run the chirp or the side scan while Herc is in the water? Or? Uh, rarely. There's not much benefit to it. We're usually using the side scan when we're in sled mode. Yeah. Toe sled mode. I mean, is it on there now? It is, yeah. It's disconnected, but it's on there. Okay, because I was wondering... If we do have some time when we're going over a geo or something like that, if we could fire the chirp, just you're talking about the side scan. The su no, the the sub bottom. Sub bottoms on Argus in the University of Hawaii warehouse. Okay, I don't know if it was chirp or not. Can I get the uh, bubble on porch, please? Roger. Thank you. We missed an opportunity for a pun with Argus. It's taking a sub sabbatical. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, chat. That's, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. Yeah. I wouldn't have missed that at all. <laughs> <laughs> it goes without saying. <laughs> Do you know what frequency the sub bottom is, Trevor? No. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> There's ways I can find out. I yeah, yeah, that's no problem. Was, that's it was easy. Top of your head. a little more sediment here. I think I've never seen uh, Argus's uh, sub-bottom profiler used as such. We always use it as a really good altimeter. Yeah. But I don't think we've ever, I've ever seen it used as a, whatchamacallit. Yeah, that's why I'm just tr wondering if it's a, Shrimp. the frequency, if you can get penetration or if it's just a, a bottom bounce. There's another one of those sponges. That's a Califacus sponge. Califacus? Yep. Yep. Family Rosellidae. 
You can tell because the stock is attached to the convex side of the bulb and it's white. What is the advantage for those sponges to being on a stock? Higher, Higher up in I the water column, right? Because they are more exposed to the current, mm -hmm. so uh, sponges are animals that filtrate the water. So they have these uh, special cells with flagellums that are filtering the water. So the more water get into the channels, the more food. Oh, we're almost at the top. Yeah, we are. We passed 1,700 meters recently. Yeah, look at that. We still have about uh, 250 meters to go. Roger that. And then we're even gonna have enough time to get the waypoint Fish. six. That'll be great. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Let me see. So, Nab, how far away did you say we are from waypoint five? Sorry? How I far did you say we are from? Two five zero meters. Thank you. You're welcome. really is amazing how accurate the multi-beam is. I mean, Herc is at uh, 1692, and you see the 1700 meter contour right there. It may seem like it's off by about 10 meters, but uh, the footprint of uh, multi-beam here is about a well, half a football field or half a pitch. So it's kind of averaging, so it's just amazing how close it is. Yeah, it's pretty good. Although it, it did seem like there's a, a little bit of a mismatch to the ridge. That and could also uh, be USBL uh, artifacts as well. Okay. You can get some shear layers in the water column okay. and get offsets. There's another primnoid. I was just about to ask, is that a primnoid? Yeah. It is. I'm burning. Calyptrophora. <laughs> I've, I've noticed that in the data. I've uh, I've been plotting up the, the navigation, and sometimes it looks like you're actually the, the fastest this? moving thing. Oop, yes. Uh, circle it one more time, please. Circle it here. Yeah, the spinny one. Spiny, uh, spiral. Spirally, yeah, sure. Uh, go ahead, Dave. What type is that? It's so yeah, this is maybe. Can I get a zoom out, please? Another uh, bamboo with an heterotychus on, on it. Up there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Are they usually squiggly like that? Swirly, squiggly? Well, they, there are different groups of species, and. Okay. I don't Thank think you, Dave. Thank you so much. I don't think this is a um, characteris specific characteristic of far this back group of species. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you need to catch up. There's another like squiggly one too.
Look at this beach. Yeah, beach. got some ripples too. Yeah. Any interest in a push core? Uh, mm, there's interest. I'm just not sure how thick it is. Let me auger in. We can find out. Yeah, if you want to, give her a go. Augering in. Oh, it's thin. That is thin sand. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Knife bottom is, Trevor? No. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> There's ways I can find out. Yeah, I yeah, that's no was, problem. That's it on the top of your head. No. Just a little more sediment here. I think I've never seen uh, Argus's uh, sub bottom profiler used as such. We always use it as a really good altimeter. Yeah. But I don't think we've ever, I've ever seen it used as a, whatchamacallit. No, that's why I'm just wondering if it's a, Shrimp. the frequencies, if you can get penetration or if it's just a, a bottom bounce. There's another one of those sponges. That's a Califacus sponge. Califacus? Yep. Yep. Family Rosellidae. You can tell because the stalk is attached to the convex side of the bulb and it's white. What is the advantage for those sponges to being on a stalk? Higher up in I the water column, right? I guess they are more exposed to the current, mm -hmm. so uh, sponges are animals that filtrate the water. So they have these uh, special cells with flagellums that are filtering the water. So the more water get into the channels, the more food. Oh, we're almost at the top. Yeah, we are. We passed 1,700 meters recently. Yeah, look at that. We still have about uh, 250 meters to go. Roger that. And then we're even going to have enough time to get to waypoint Fish. six. That'll be great. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Let me see. So, Nab, how far away did you say we are from waypoint five? Sorry? How I, I, far did you say we are from? Two five zero meters. Thank you. You're welcome. Really is amazing how accurate the multi beam is. I mean, Herc is at uh, 1692, and you see the 1700 meter contour right there. It may seem like it's off by about 10 meters, but uh, the footprint of uh, multi beam here is about a half a football field or half a pitch, so it's kind of averaging. So it's just amazing how close it is. Yeah, that's pretty good. Although it did seem like there's a little bit of a mismatch to the ridge. That and could also uh, be USBL uh, artifacts as well. Okay. You can get some shear layers in the water column okay. and get offsets. Yeah, 
There's another primnoid. I was just about to ask, is that a primnoid? Yeah. It is. I'm learning. Calyptrophora. <laughs> it's auto check. Yeah. You don't need sub bottom for that. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I bet it's an inch, an inch and a half. There's, what's that thing growing out of it? Is that, is that a, a coral or a pen? Yeah. Sorry, I gotta go. Goodbye. <laughs> I was also trying to convince you not to push cork. It takes a while. <laughs> <laughs> and we just trusted you. Oh, there's a little fish in Atalanta. Another fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that fish little? I don't think it's little. Oh, it's gone. He has another fish to the bottom left. Oh, oh, that looked like a cool fish. Bottom left. Bottom's the hardest Down. part to it, see. Yeah, it was like swimming through that channel. I can take a quick look, yeah. Ooh. Oh, there, there it is. is. There yeah. it is. Nice. That doesn't look like something we've seen before. Can we have a zoom there, please, Dave? Unless we zoom in, and it is. Yeah, it's Cusky. It's a Cusky. All right, thank you. This is, looks a little richer up here. Science so team, you're still okay with the speed, right? We're trying to cover some ground and maybe get a sample here and there. Yeah, that, is that is all right? this good with you? The speed? Um, it's okay. Um, if I see something in the cinnamon cam or here, I'll let you know. Yeah. It's okay, the speed. Thank Great. you. Thanks. Maybe we keep, we could zoom here. Go ahead, Dave. Zoranthids? Behind this one, is that another Victor Gorgia? It's blue. All right, come wide, Thank please. You. Oh, yeah, good eye. Yeah. Yes. Nice mound of pillows here. Another Victoria here. Mm -hmm. Another one here. Another. Yeah, it's pretty close to the summit on this now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a little e kind of e kind of derm. Look at this yeah, happy summit. Sea urchin. Yeah, this the summit looks nice. It seems we don't really care about uh, sea ocean so much, right, Paula? See? I said it seems we don't really care about sea ocean so much. Is that right? Yeah. Why? Do you know? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't think we have any scientists that are, like, requesting them or anything, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. yeah. A lot of the samples we look at and focus on a lot or what onshore scientists or scientists on the ship have requested specifically for their research. Yeah. And I guess nobody is interested okay. in sea urchins that we're currently collaborating with. Good. Good. <laughs> good. I love that. What do you have against <laughs> sea urchins? <laughs> we have some requests uh, requesting on sea stars. Yep. But certain but ones. Not urchins. But not uh, kind of kind of sea stars. I love this bushy one. Is that a big branching bamboo? What are you bamboo? doing, little nylon rope? Go away. No one invited you. Oh, go away. That nylon rope dreams of being a coral. Yeah. <laughs> Teach me your ways. Nice. Nope. 
All right, we're gonna head down slope for a bit. Everybody's favorite direction. <laughs> Yay. Steve says there are uh, multiple specimens of Acanella webberry, uh, species of bamboo. When we get to that waypoint, can you hold position, please? What, when we get to it? Yeah, when the ship is maybe a little okay. half length past it or something like that. Oh, oh right, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Is that a little smudge on the Atalanta cam, that little black dot? Go ahead, Zoom. Busy with the problem, sorry. Yep. Roger. I'll do manual zoom by getting closer. You're muted, Paula. Ambalula. Yeah. Ambalula. Yay. Right. I can zoom now. Uh, oh. good. I sorry. gotta go. <laughs> I got Cinevec issues. Yeah. Roger, do what you got to do. So, was that a, a new species of nylon rope, or? <laughs> I think we've been seeing it throughout the dive. Okay. Very common in this this area. <laughs> a little, a little more. Okay. Nice. Yeah, we're summiting. Another cucumber. Yeah. Fish, yep. Oh, and two fish. Which one do you want to see? One fish, two. Let's see the one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Over the circled one. Is it's it a fish? Shiny eyes. Is it a rock? It looks like a rock. Ah, oh, the old rock fish. Rock fish. Rock fish. Well, we passed up the actual <laughs> fish for a rock fish. Rob planned it all along. Here you go. Here's a little sand doinker. <laughs> oh, what? Zoom in on the sand doinker, please. Is that a worm tube? Or a tube worm? Worm tube? <laughs> worm tube, tube, worm tube. Hmm. Sure is. Is it a worm tube? Because it looks really thin. It's a thing that exists. You're yeah. muted. Okay, come by, Thank please. You. Thank you. Chat made a funny um, talking about the rope, it's a known associate of ROVs. <laughs> <laughs> corals. Did you say that Herc and Atalanta exist in mutualistic symbiosis? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> For sure. Well, I guess what does Atalanta get from Herc being tethered to it? Got it. That's true. Anatomy there. That's nice. Yeah. Atalanta gets uh, a light on the seafloor. I guess. Oh, it also gets true. to dive. Would we <laughs> dive Atalanta without Herc? Yep, that's tow sled mode. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's where we'd use that side scan sonar we were talking about. Ooh, look at this coral garden that this I can definitely really nice. fit through. We tend to get these right at the summits. I don't know if this is the crater or not, but... Yeah, 
you hold in position now. Is that another anemone? There is an anemone here. Mm -hmm. Chat was saying that stalk was definitely a C pen of some kind. Yep. Steve confirmed it was a protoptilium. Protoptilium. Is that a C pen of yes, some kind? Yes, it is. Yep. That one was very pen like. It's incredible. These are amazing. Big corals. Branching bamboos. It's funny how some corals grow totally flat and some grow this bushy three-dimensional shape. This one's like the, the mega coral the big coral on the rock. Beautiful Atalanta view right now. Oh yeah. On it. Nice job. Look how big the hole fast is too. Yeah, it's yeah. not going anywhere. With a squat down there. Oh, there's a squat. All right. That was great. Nice. Beautiful. And now we get to go down slope again. <laughs> My favorite part. Ooh. Let me know when you want to stop moving. Well, let's see. Do we want to do a push core in this sandy field? You can try. It may be the same uh, result, though. Yeah, okay. But, hey, it's worth trying. Yeah. Keep going to the far end of it. Yep. Um, then I have most the most time for it. Could this be a crater where all the sand is kind of accumulating? It's, it could be. It's hard to tell. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really, it, it could be. That's an interesting thing. I'm seeing the circle of uh, the contour. Can, you can zoom? we check here to yep, see no if it's problem. another sea pen? But I wonder if that contour is actually like the outside of a crater. Yeah, it could be. I mean, okay, video, please zoom. Now that's actually a really good call, Trevor. Uh, I think we should get a uh, sample. Pen. Yeah. Come full wide, okay. please. With grabbing. A grab would be best, yep. That's all we have. I was going to say, aren't we out of suction? Slopes are gone. Are we out of suction? Yes, we are. Wow. All right. This is a full load. Maybe while we're here, we can push core. This looks very straight, so I don't know if I would want to run it out of suction anyway. Can I put this in the forward box? Yes, you can. Left side, right side? Let's go with Omega. Omega. Right side. Thank you. How much would you like? It's hard to hear you. You're muted. I have never collected one of these, but tried to get the, from the middle, for instance. Sure. Like I, I think here? it's gonna be hard to get this out from the sun. I'm gonna snip it. Oh, clean break. Coral cutters for the win. I'll wait till the last possible second to open this box. Roger that. I know there's some floating things. Was was the ID? Protoptilum. 
That's a C pen. Yeah, the, I mean the, the... It's number 68. Uh, okay, you can open the box just a little bit. Si you mean 68? 68. Uh, 68. And the name is what? C pen? A little more? C pen. Oh, Good there. Roger, thank you. Get it right where the jaws open into the camera. And... Ooh. Oh, no, little fish. Yeah. Don't swim come into on. the bio box. Bonus sample. <laughs> <laughs> eh, come on, you little devil. Voluntary sampling. All right. That's as good as it gets. There we go. Good job. Good Thanks, job. Trevor. Thank you. Thank you. And push core if you have time. If not, Yeah, we're going to assess the situation priority. here. I think we have time. Okay. Bubble on craft, please. Roger. It's going to be tight. Um, and you can turn Atalanta's heading to uh, like zero nine zero. Just come to port to zero nine zero, please. Which push core do I have available? You have two to five, so four of them are open. Okay. Let's do uh, th Three. Three feels like a lucky number right Whoa, now. Whoa, what is that in the Atalanta camera? Is that just a piece of schmutz? Oh, then we get three and four at the same time. How about... Atalanta heading is at 90 degrees. Thank you. That just stretches the tether out maximum, so I have the most amount of time. That's all that's happening there. Uh, that's actually not so bad. Let me try that. All right, here I go. You come down in Delta a little bit. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, oh, no. Too shallow? Yeah, that ain't going to work. I'll try oh and keep well. it, but oh? okay. I don't think it'll make it. Can I have... Yeah, I fell out there. Yeah, no worries. Okay. Uh, keep coming down to Delta. You can yeah, come down once to like I saw the view of the nine. Atlanta camp. Roger. Delta and altitude are about equivalent. Thank you. Delta's hovering around 9 or 10. Perfect. That was not my best work. Boy, do I have to go here. Ooh. Can I tell by the uh, sonar that All right. here we, we are in a depression here? Uh, where are we going? This way. Oh, you're yourself, behind. Rob. Does that suggest we're in a depression? What's that? The sonar. Does that look like we are in a crater with the... Uh, Possibly-ish. Hard to yeah. say for sure, but possibly, yeah. Okay, as they come closer, you can pull up. Roger. Start going now. What is this? We are not is stopping that, for anything. Is that Atalanta in the cinema oh, cam? Oh, yeah. 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 Wow. That's me. Oh, that's cool. That's yeah, cool. keep coming up. Cool. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Bit of a winch moment here. Yeah, that's a great shot, though. I don't like it. I don't like that shot. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, Delta coming back up. Keep bringing it up to probably 20. Roger that. Delta's hovering around 19. All right. Delta's and hovering around 20. Here comes Hercules. 
Okay, I think we can start moving towards waypoint whatever. Okay. Waypoint six. Well, yeah, let's go. A little urge in the ground. All right. Keep tracking or like step? Tracking's fine, yeah. I have the most amount of time. That's all that's happening there. Uh, that's actually not so bad. Let me try that. All right, here I go. You come down in Delta a little bit. Oh, really? <laughs> no. Oh, no. Too shallow? Yeah, that ain't going to work. I'll try oh, and keep well. it, but oh? okay. I don't think it'll make it. Can I have... Yeah, I fell out there. Yeah, no worries. Okay. Uh, keep coming down to Delta. You can yeah, come down once to like I saw the view of the nine. Atlanta camp. Roger. Delta and altitude are about equivalent. Thank you. Delta's hovering around nine or ten. Perfect. That was not my best work. Boy, do I have to go here. Ooh. Can I tell by the uh, sonar that All right. is, here we, we are in a depression here? Uh, where are we going? This way. Speak oh, you're for yourself, behind. Rob. Does that suggest yeah, we're in a depression? What's that? The sonar, does that look like we are in a crater with the... Uh, Possibly-ish, hard yeah. to say for sure, but possibly, yeah. Okay, as they come closer, you can pull up. Roger. Start going now. What is this? We are not is stopping that, for anything. Is that Atalanta in the cinema oh, cam? Yeah. 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 Wow. That's me. Oh, that's cool. That's yeah, keep cool. coming up. Cool. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Bit of a winch moment here. Yeah. That's a great shot, though. I don't like it. I don't like that shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Delta coming back up. Keep bringing it up to probably 20. Roger that. Delta's hovering around 19. All right. Delta's and hovering around 20. here comes Hercules. Okay, I think we can start moving towards waypoint whatever. Okay. Waypoint 6. Well, yeah, let's go. A little urge in the ground. All right. Keep tracking or like step? Tracking's fine, yeah. Okay. We can do, uh, how far is it? The waypoint um, it's, 6. It's um, about 3, 5 zero meters. Okay, let's go back. So let's go slower again. Point okay. three or point two, yeah. something there. Coming back okay. down on Delta. Okay. Roger that. Thank you. Can I get a bubble on porch, please? Roger. Yeah, we have a fish. Fish. Yeah. That's not the way I should be going, but I can make it. Yeah. Oop. Coming back down on Delta. Raj. Surprised we haven't seen more trident fish. <laughs> more what fish? Trident fish. Trident? Trident. Yeah. They kind of sit down like uh, with a little modified fins. Like the tripod fish? Yeah. All right, that's, that's as far as I've got. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Can you zoom is in, please? this one of those weird mutant salmon looking ones? It's going to be bouncy. Is that the cusp? 
don't think that's a coast Still deal. Down on Delta, to get Look at it in the cinema cam. Oh, it's um, good the, to be on this cam. Uh, is that a spider meat in the background there? It is a um, right. sea urchin Thanks. with Let's very see. long... We got one behind her, too. Yeah. Look mm -hmm. at that. Lots of fish. All right, I should stop wandering off here. You're yanking me around here. Yeah, I'm way, way too far away. But I saw a fish, and science <laughs> wanted it. What am I supposed to do? Where the heck are you? Get off the bottom If you come here. up on Delta, you'll... We'll, I'll, I'll make my way back there. Okay. Roger that. Yeah, you see how the red thruster inputs in Atalanta, they're fighting? And your set point's 90. Your set point's looking more exactly towards where I would be, but you just can't get there because I'm pulling you. Someone in the chat said, is it unusual to see so much coral and life and hardly any fish? I don't think that's unusual at all, right? We usually see a lot of coral, and there Hercules is loud and usually scares the fish away. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that was a lot of fish that we just saw just now. There was yeah. like three, right? My favorite fish was the one we saw yesterday. Look at this one. Yeah, that's How about this I one? Know, that's I know. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. That one was cool. What is that? Can we have, whenever you're ready, Dave, zoom on that one, please? I'll try and be as ready as I can, too. What is that fish? Let me see your it's a mouth parts. Big one. <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. Oh. Cool little crater in uh, Atalanta View behind Hercules. That's um an aqua squatch track. It's a witch? <laughs> an aqua squatch <laughs> track? Oh yeah. Was that a different fish than what we just, the other fish we just saw? Like yep. a different species? There's another sea band here. Mm. Yes, it was. All right, you can come down on Delta. Roger, coming down on Delta. Keep it around 12 to 14. Is that sea pen another protoptilium? I assume so. All right. Yeah, zoom there, please. There it is. Sorry, you're muted now. This is the same. I'm talking, you're talking to the bridge, too. Oh, oh very uh. similar one that we just collected. Thank you. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, Thank if you. If you pan right and up, I think there's some little urchins there with the long spines. Where is it? I, I didn't know if that was a, an urchin. I've seen some of these small ones, but I don't think that's it. This is the one nodule. Yeah. All right. I'm not doing a great job of one nodule my job. To rule them all. <laughs> You're a great pilot, Trevor. I'm like all <laughs> over the place. You should see my trail here. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he going? <laughs> You're like doing a bunch of uh, like switchbacks. You just gotta cover all the ground. Right. <laughs> Another fish. Another more, fish. More back row blunders. Another fish. There's your tripod go. fish. Yay. Oh, fish. there you go, Rob. Oh. Go for it, Did uh, you Dave. Look at it in cinema. I like when they have all the big antenna out front. Those mm. ones. Me too. Yeah. Oh yeah. I this one antenna. has it. What is yeah. this? Look at that. Very cool. Come in Tokyo. Cool. All right, bye-bye. Goodbye. Oh, it just moved a little bit. <laughs> uh, the genus of this uh, fish is Bathy Deplops. Bathy Deplops? Yeah, according to Steve. Deplops? Plops. Bathy Deplops. Thithy, spelled oh, thigh thigh. Sorry, my Spanish accent. 
<laughs> no, you're good. You're doing great. I mean, <laughs> to me, all these Latin words just sound. Yeah. It could be like anything. Sounds really. anyway, it could be yeah. anything. Yeah. <laughs> That just means you speak more than one language, and that's pretty cool. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> shrimp. What's shrimp? Digging in the sand. Oh, Ooh. shrimp in the sand count. Sand shrimp. Sand uh, shrimp. Two sea pants. Yeah, so I was saying the sea pants, it seems we've, we find them more on the sediments. Is that correct? Am I still muted? No, I'm not. Paula, did you copy that? I was saying like the sea pounds, it seems we find them more in the sediments. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you find them more rock at all? There, is, there are um, rock pens. And there are also um, different genera living on, on the rocks. We have an expert on sea pens on this cruise, Raisa. Oh, so okay. yes, she knows everything about sea pens. Wow, that's incredible. There's star on that rock. Star, star on the rock, uh, all the way to the, the left. We keep. Mm -hmm. Is it a rock star? It is a rock star. Uh. <laughs> and then yeah. another Victor Gorgia. Mushroom coral. It's not crinoid. You said there was a mushroom coral? They're my favorite. This I love them. Antomastus or heteropolyx. It's very difficult to tell them apart. Oh. Yeah, I always have trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and we could check this coral to see worms if it's possible. Yes. Steve says it's the high nodus. This coral is the one you're looking for? The black coral on the on the left. So we could check if there is any worm. Did we ever confirm if we could see the worms or not? Kind of worm. I think uh, they didn't find any in the previous watch, but we will keep checking occasionally. Thank you. All right, thanks. Cinema Cam has a nice, yeah. colorful view. Amazing. The low view is really neat. I'm Good totally view. sold. Sold. I wasn't sure how I felt about it, installing it on the porch, but I think it's amazing. So one of the, the common names for tripod fish is spider fish. Hmm. I like tripod fish, fish more. Spider yeah, like fish. maybe because they have those long antenna things that look spidery. They look like whiskers. Yeah, they do to me too. Bioturbation. Vocab word. I think we have another sea urchin. Mm -hmm. That's what I was looking for earlier. Do you want to zoom on it? Yeah, let's look at it. Okay, go for it, Dave. Mm, not a fan. That looks spidery. Mm. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I've never seen one like that before. Cool. The spines look soft almost. Yeah. We said it was an urchin. Yeah. They put the right. echino Thank in you. echinoderm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> echino means spine. So as Steve said, this is Aspidodiadema sp. Uh, we have a very similar species in shallow water. Well, similar, or I guess it's the same family or group. 
with these very long spines and sometimes it, it is likely that you can get pinched for this by these spines. What yeah, is that in the cinema can? A fish? A couple yep. of things. There's a fish and a little floaty. Little floaty. Ooh, we're coming to the fish in the cinema cam. That's one handsome fish. It's oh. gonna boop right oh. into us. Okay, it's oh. my whole boop. Is that a cuskill? Yeah. I like that that last urchin was highlighted as daddy long leg urchin. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> so the family is Aspidodiadematide, different, different family from diadema sea urchins. Some more info about that tripod fish. They said it. It is a relative of the tripod fish in the Ipnop, oops, where'd that go? Ipnopdae family, but their common name is spiderfish. The spiderfish is just the common name for the fish type. More specifically, the tripod fish are usually called tripod fish. So that, that spiderfish was a cousin of true tripods. Ah, okay. Cool. Chat facts. Chat facts. I like that. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Chat Facts. <laughs> Surprisingly, no ripples in this stuff. No coins? There's no, there's no ripples in the sediment here. I would expect to see something. But it may be, if it is in this crater, it may be protected. Yeah, it's hard to say. I, I don't know if it's a crater or not. It really, it's hard to tell. Yeah. Great deal of uh, squigglies in the uh, At least it's somehow protected. Camp. Does that mean there's worms? Worms. I don't know. Um, Dave, Trevor, and Stephanie, me, um, Abrian has a shout out to us. Hey, Doing a great Abrian. job. He's Aprian. They were an SCF and then I think an SCF lead um, on an expedition last, was it last year or the year before? Maybe both. Maybe both. Um, they what are, now? They're a cartographer, is that the right word? They're a That's map right, maker. Yeah. Um, and they did uh, a nice comic for Nautilus called Above and Below um, that is beautifully illustrated. Kind of about you know what's happening below the surface also kind of happens above the surface as well in terms of like volcanoes and seamount formations 10 out of 10. Umbula. look at that worm track is there a worm at the end of that worm track Looks like it. Looks like something. Stay tuned. <laughs> is this it? What's is this? it a worm? Can you zoom in on the maybe worm, please? Maybe worm. Whoa. Mm. Huh. Uh, Sandy. Uh, uh, let's leave that be. Is Sam's poop <laughs> Sandy poop? <laughs> Yes, there a holothurian at the other yeah, end. Yeah, at the other. Ooh. <laughs> 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 oh, that's hilarious. Where does it go? Oh, oh. no. Oh, I'm going to wander off again. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm doing a full spin. What is happening here? Hey, do I need to All be... Right. Uh... Okay, we're good. We give up. <laughs> Yeah, I can't go that way. Were no, you sorry. following the trail? Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was not a good way for ROVs to go. What? It's interesting seeing those like, um, like star-shaped indentations in the sediment. 
I guess something lives in the middle and kind of just like smacks out. Yeah. Probably a worm. A worm. A lot of sand here. Do you feel lucky? Mm, I don't, but I can try anyway if you want. What I could do is I could go get a push core out. Yep. And I could land, poke, fail, go to the next spot, poke, fail there. Okay. After three fails, I'll put it away. Uh, can I bubble on craft, please? Roger. Atalanta has a good view of the arm me, reaching back. Let me uh, bring my heading around so you can see it better. Oh. It's a great shot, Annabelle. Thank you. Good instinct to zoom in there at that point, too. Come on over to the video side. <laughs> <laughs> that is Trevor's good side. Oh, not when I'm messing it up. These claws are so big. Are we going for push core three again? I'm gonna go for four. Four, switching it up. Yeah. Oh. What are you doing? There we go, boink. Real tilt prop, man. Eh? Okay, I'm gonna drive ahead a little bit and then see if I feel lucky. With this ominous core out in front. <laughs> Is this the fifth core or the sixth core? I'm not sure, but I kinda lost count myself. Do you feel lucky? <laughs> Punk. Do you? <laughs> I actually saw him in a uh, grocery store in uh, Carmel. Yeah. And he was at the uh, 12 items or less express lane. <laughs> With and, 36 uh, items. Thank you for that specific visual. <laughs> no, he, he was ahead of me. And uh, it looked like he had more than 12. And I cleared my throat a couple of times because that's what I do. <laughs> How many, how many I items you did you have? Punk. <laughs> well, 12 <laughs> items or 13. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm. yep. I'm going to not keep this. Nope. I, I you think you're hitting bottom or is it just a point of uh, can't penetrate farther? I think I'm hitting bottom. I'll try it again somewhere else and I'll do some piggly wiggly, see if that helps. But it just seems so consistent that it's you know about the same depth every time. Would you not accept exp expect consistent depths of sediment around here? Are those urchins yeah. or rocks? Urchins. Urchins. Urchin. Oh, urchin. Whoop. You can always get a sediment. That one's associate. got a little trail. Push core of the urchin. Oh, <laughs> oh no. no. <laughs> That'd be so mean. Does have a you wouldn't do that to urchin. Yeah, push crow is located near that urchin. <laughs> <laughs> Great view in the cinema cam. Oh. Oh, this one's going down. Yeah. Urchin knows. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, urchin. Wow. I like its little trail. Yeah, the bioturbation. All right, here we go. Wow. Excellent. That one got deep. Mm -hmm. Oh, on, is it stuck come forever? On, come on. Oh. Ooh. All right. Got it. Can I have the 
the sample salvo, please. No, it's fallen out. Don't oh, worry about yeah. it. Okay. Not even worth the time. Oh. And we'll watch it up front. Oh, the plug. Boink. Ooh. Well, that's I get, think this is not trip. very corrible area. No. I'll still take sample salvo, please. It, it's just a 4 a.m. mud. I was hoping that it was uh, a little calmer. Thank you for already coming up on Delta. Materials. Nice job. I'm learning. Yeah. Look up the, the leftover yeah. <laughs> core sample. Ooh. A coring fecal pellet, so to speak. <laughs> the urchin's like, what happened here? It's all <laughs> dusty. Are we going back to ROV salvo? Yes, good for that now. Thank you. Dave, we have a question for you. What, Go what, ahead. What type of other industry experience do the video engineers have? What about this is most similar and most different to other live video producers or productions? Huh, okay. Um, I, well, I'll come at it from the engineering Porch, standpoint. Uh, I am uh, a broadcast engineer. And Gage uh, Jack. 40 plus years uh, in the business, check. worked for many television stations, uh, production, that kind of stuff. So that's one angle to come at from a background. Uh, we do uh, look for people like that, but we also look for people we'll with uh, a bit for you there. with a combination background of say uh, an interest or a minor in uh, in uh, marine biology so or ocean. We have a zoom, please, Dave. Talking. Show us what you got. Oh, yeah. It looks like these are some, maybe those beaked whale divots right in the background. That would be really cool. Like the ones that dive down and kind of yeah. scoop. What kind of coral is this? Squishy? Yeah, it I is think so. Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you. Keep going, Dave. So as a, a lead video engineer. Uh, I'm uh, one of the ones that built this system, uh, and I have a hardware background uh, in building television stations. I've built uh, small television systems, big television system stations, uh, that kind of stuff. So that's an angle to, to come from, is from the broadcast engineering side. Uh, but we also look for people that uh, are interested in oceanography uh, and maybe have a, a, a video production background where they're uh, a photographer or shooting uh, video, uh, also live sports events and, and uh, live events, that kind of stuff, camera operators uh, with that kind of background. Uh, and so it, it kind of puts everything uh, all together with an engineering background and, and, uh, and a production background so that you know how to uh, operate a camera, frame shots, uh, exposure, focus, uh, those kinds of things. So it's kind of a wide uh, variety and, you know, we, we try and uh, bring in a range of people into the oh, intern beautiful. program uh, that have some or all of those experiences. So rarely people have all of those experiences in an internship, uh, and so we'll bring people that are uh, uh, interested in and uh, have some background, and then uh, train them up and see how they do. Interns uh, can come back then as contractors, uh, as engineer two positions or junior engineers, uh, and we've had lots of those um, and we have those that then progress to uh, come out a few times and then come back uh, as uh, lead trainees uh, we're doing that currently so oh, why is it all bright now no clue nice all right thanks dave yeah sure we could may perhaps if, the, if there is any chance to yes of course that. looks a little different is that a C pen? Yep. Okay, please zoom there. And when you're done with the bubble, I'll take it on porch, please. Roger. You see the peduncle. Peduncle. Oh. What's is it a peduncle? rock or is that a peduncle? The little, the the little black. The whole bass underground sort of thing. The anchor. 
black coral. No worms. No, there is. Is there an associate on the very bottom there? I'm trying to get more stable, but I'm. Mm. Yeah, can we do a little more zoom if you got it? That's all I got. It does look like a rock, though. Yeah, it's it like a rock, yeah. It found the no tiniest no rock. Yeah, when that's I get amazing. It? Okay, thank it's up you. To you. Yes, let's get it. Oh, okay. All okay. right. Come full wide, please. Coming so up we on have Delta. Two by and one. Double on craft. Double on craft, Roger. Won't be much help, but. Uh, you don't think so? Can I put this in Omega? Um, no. Let's go for starboard A, please. Okay. Hmm. If that doesn't can, suit can you, do we it. can also do starboard E. No, starboard is... Once a starboard, always a starboard. Mm. As I never said before. I mean, like... Yeah, it's fine. Um, all right. Uh, I thought I could get the rock. Gauge check finished. Roger. Maybe I cannot get the rock. Pretty intense. Maybe I can get the rock. Oh, we got the rock. Okay, full wide, please. That is going to be the best rock. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing Rob a bone. I get sample <laughs> salvo, please. Rob a rock. Sample salvo, roger. And remind me again which starboard side you want. Starboard A, please. A for alpha, roger that. Anything else floaty here? I guess it doesn't really matter. I no, it's do. just a rock in there. Okay. Big rock. Okay, can you please open the box? Oops, stop there. Oh. And you can open it more. Keep going all the way. Oh, we're going in the back. Yeah. Oof. Let's try that. That's in. Okay, yeah. close that up. When you got a spare hand, I'll take ROV cams. And this is 60. You got it now. What number was that? I was going to tell Nav the number, but they've got it. I'm with 69. Data, I'm with experience. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Delta, yeah, okay. great. Thank you. Victor. And when you mm -hmm. have a spare hand, Victor. I'll take bubble on porch, please. Roger. Victor, Gordia. We're going to make it to all the... Waypoint 6 is the last waypoint, isn't it? Yeah. It was great. We'll make it. It'll be perfect timing. Chat asks, is there a C pencil in an alternate universe? <laughs> <laughs> Anything is possible. <laughs> I keep thinking about what you said, Rob, about the beaked whales scooping. What are the odds of that, of someone ever seeing that on a dive? Seeing the action or the? Seeing the action, seeing the beaked whale scooping. Oh, how cool would oh, that there's be? there's a shrimp. Yeah, look, I mean, we see whales down, I mean, um, sharks down here. Little cat sharks are really cute. Sometimes I think the six gill. I'm not sure what the depth limits are. Of the six skills? I think I have it written in my little notebook. 1,500 to 6,000 feet. To the six skills? Typically, yeah. yeah. Well, we're in their hood. 
<laughs> There's also six bills off Vancouver Island. Yeah. Don't they like come into Puget Sound to have pups or something? Isn't that I a thing? I could believe that. I'm not sure. I've seen them all up the east coast of Vancouver Island though. Well, Salish Sea. <laughs> I love that they're called pups. There was a question a long time ago in the chat that asked um, what our favorite sharks were. Whale shark. Is that a true shark? It has shark Good in the name, I'm Good going answer. with it. Like <laughs> and whale. It's a whale and a shark. 